This is 1987, 1990, and 1991. Luis Shimonovich has been collecting Panini World Cup stickers since he was a young boy in Brazil. You buy the, uh, the album, then the stickers, and then all your friends from school on recess, you swap. There are hundreds of stickers to collect, each one displaying a different player and team. Many collectors trying to complete their album before the World Cup kicks off. What about this one? Canada. Canada. A hobby passed down from his dad, one he now shares with his kids. I, I was seven in Canada actually made it to the first World Cup and now he's seven and Canada is making it again 36 years later. So it's, uh, it's something to keep. It's a souvenir from the past. It's a time capsule. A chance to learn about different athletes from different countries and connect with soccer fans from around the globe with an eye to swap stickers and complete their collections. I put a post on Facebook, is anyone at Metrotown want to swap cards? And in five minutes I met, uh, there was two guys from Brazil, one guy from Israel, one guy from India. We sat at the food court and swapped cards. Using social media to meet other newcomers and neighbors. Probably met over a dozen people around Vancouver just meeting people you know, on the, at uh, gas stations or outside their house are all brought together with this uh, Panini sticker book, so. Acosta's 11-year-old son, Jaden, says collecting stickers with his dad has been a special experience and has inspired him to one day make it to the world stage. I play soccer, so, like, it's just, like, in me to, like, look at players and, like, look at my idols and, like, learn from them. Do you remember when you were playing and we did this? Lena Villamil has fond memories of trading Panini cards with her friends in Colombia. More recently, she's completed albums for the 2014 and 2018 World Cups with her kids. There's not like a big like, a Latino community in, in Vancouver. So when I saw this four years ago, that it was like a Panini page, and I said, okay, this is nice. I think that sports, especially in my family, bring us together. So being able to all commit to this and fill it out together, it's kind of a fun thing to do together. And while it's too soon to say who will win the 2022 World Cup, these families say no matter the outcome, they plan to pass down this tradition for years to come. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Richmond.